Warning, the following episode contains content that may offend some viewers. If you're easily grossed out or not a fan of such humor or butt stuff, please stop listening now. You're still listening, aren't you? You're a sexy rebel. Tonight, on Laugh, damn it, I tell the story. You should not be eating anything during the story, especially stuff with chocolate in it. Anyways, here we go. Welcome back to the show. That's right, we are back for episode two. Before we start, let's do this. And that. Yes. Girlfriend. Okay, now let's start the story. See, I was reading a girl a long time ago that was really into stuff going in her butt. She really, really liked it. She loved stuff going in that thing. So one of the things she was in went to were these things called anal beads. Hopefully I put words up there. If not, I'm a fucking idiot. Anyways, um, now, uh, one time, we've we, we used it a couple times. Basically, if you don't know what anal beads are, what anal beads are is these, uh, these long thing of beads. They don't look like this. This is a stick. And you put them up your butt, and then you pull them out, and apparently they feel really good. I never tried them, ever. I told her I did, but I did not. Things you do to get laid. You really go through some shitty things. Ah! I'm funny. Shut up. Anyway, so um, one time we were staying at a hotel, and we used them. And um, we used them a couple times, and she was having a fun time. And then one time we used them again, and um, we were finished, and we couldn't find them. So, because um, I'm a rock star. It's like liquid cocaine, by the way. Really. Anyway, so we couldn't find them. And she said to me, I don't know where they are. I'm like, either do I. What the hell are they? Um, then we were looking everywhere for them, and we both knew where they were. We just didn't want to admit where they were. <sighs> they were still up her butt. Yep. So I'm like, what the hell are we going to do? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, well, do you want to the hospital? She's like, fuck, no, I'm going to the hospital. Which, by the way, I've talked to a lot of doctors and people who work in hospitals. You'd be surprised what people put up their assholes. Yep, you'd be really surprised. Anyways, so I'm like, what do you want to do? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, well, I got an idea. She's like, okay. I'm like, I have an idea. She's like, what? Uh, drink more. She's like, why? Because you're not going to want to feel this. She goes, well, shouldn't you be drinking? I said, no. Because unfortunately, I have to feel this. So we're waiting around. We watched The Simpsons. It was the one where um, uh, Marge was working at the power plant with Homer. <laughs> Tibor. Fuck The Simpsons. It's a funny show, man. Love that show. At least it was funny. Anyways, um, so we are watching the show and she starts feeling on her butt and she goes, Ah, oh, I, I think I think I can feel them. I don't know though. I'm like, okay, well let's 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 take care of this. So we go into the we go into the bathroom, right? And she puts both hands on the sink like that. And I'm basically like a catcher's man, like this fucking like really do this. Come on, baby, come on. And um she um as I get close to her butt. She lets out this noise, which is fucking like Glenda the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz. Ah! I'm like, I haven't fucking touched her yet. Like, what the hell? I'm guessing. Apparently, she didn't like all things going in her butt. And um, so I reached in and I pulled the fucking things out. Now, this is where I told you not to be eating anything. You ever dipped a cone in chocolate? Because that's what they looked like. Yep. So, she then said, oh my god, just, just throw them away. I'm like, I wasn't going to fucking keep them, you fucking weirdo. Anyway, so I threw them away. And then, um, we're talking, watching TV, and she goes, you know what's really weird is, I can't believe that, um, I didn't, they didn't, something didn't stop them from going up. Like, you think there'd be a, a thing on the things to stop that from happening? And I said, I don't know, honey, maybe your ass just sucks. And that's <laughs> the story. Huh? Huh? Now back to me. And that, folks, was the story. Uh, anyways, um, um, that's it. Um, I'll be back uh, July 3rd. Uh, I really want to thank you all for, for watching the show, um, uh, for giving positive and even negative feedback. I want to know what you think, what bit works, what bit doesn't. Um, uh, I want to thank you all so much. I also, I want to give a special thanks to um, uh, to some people. Um, first, to my loving girlfriend. Thank you so much, honey, for watching the show over and over again and telling me, you know, just, and listen to the jokes over and over and over and over and over again. I'm sorry. And also to a very good friend of mine, um, uh, 
she actually has given me quite a few of my ideas. I believe she gave me the Siri idea. That was her idea. Um, also to my really good friend, uh, Rich. Rich has been uh, amazing, actually. He's been amazing for this whole thing. Um, he has given me a lot of ideas. He's listened to a lot of my jokes. Uh, he's also been very encouraging to make sure I stay up on the videos. So thanks, Rich. Also, he's keeping my shift go by a lot fast for security. He will tag, we'll tag each other back and forth because... Um, Fuck my job. Anyways, I um, also want to give a thing out to my friend Reed Jackson for picking up this microphone for me. Thank you. You're a wonderful man. I don't care what they say. Just kidding. Everyone likes him. He's a great guy. Thanks, Reed. I really appreciate it, buddy. I love you. Um, yeah, so once again, I'll be back July 3rd. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I will have some new bits. One will be called Tales from the Dead. Anyways, um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Remember, when life gets you down, don't fist people. Laugh. And don't point your dick. Damn it. Thank you, goodbye, good night, and touch each other. I actually enjoyed being the show. You could say I had a hell of a time. <laughs> See you soon. Hi there. I'm Dr. Will. Thank you so much for watching the last 10 episodes, especially the one I was in, which, let's face facts, basically was the best episode. And like I said, going crazy ain't fun unless you take someone with you. Yeah. Hello there, it's me, Siri. I really enjoyed being on the show, and no, I don't have a drinking drug problem. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I like show. Show good. Laugh. Damn it. Soup. Don't forget me, motherfucker. It's Uni, the ghetto unicorn. That's right. I'll be back in July. See you, motherfuckers, soon. Back at damn land. I mean, Ken's bed. Ken's a weirdo. He sleeps with me. Help me. Please. Help me. Bye.